All right, KC, I saw some rain on my way in this morning. A little drizzle, but um, it was nice. A nice sight to see for sure. <laughs> uh, certainly. I mean, mm. the rain is what helps cool things down, and we will see much more of it here as we head into the next couple of days. You can see on radar, yeah, we have been tracking some showers this morning. They've been focused out through Miami-Dade County. We've had a couple of showers, though, out near Pembroke Pines. It's not much for us. These haven't been lasting too long, though a couple of sprinkles out near Pembroke Pines and near the Hollywood Beach Gardens area in Pembroke Pines. Park. We've got a little bit more activity along Chrome Avenue. Uh, this is now just to the west of areas like the hammocks and Homestead after we saw a couple of weak thunderstorms move through that area. Check out this cluster of storms though, that's out near the Bahamas. We're tracking a tropical wave that's going to be lifting north and westward and it's going to be shoving this in our direction, which is what's going to be bringing us that higher chance for showers and storms. It's the hair and dust we've been dealing with that moves out. Moisture moves in storms returning and that's what's going to help allow our temperatures to finally moderate back towards their average level with some spotty storms to be into the weekend. The weekend doesn't look to be as wet as this upcoming Thursday and Friday, so tomorrow and Friday, but still some spotty storms if you do have some weekend plans. Today, in fact, a couple more showers will be possible during the morning commute. You'll notice more cloud cover this morning as well. As we take you through the remainder of the afternoon, a few more spotty showers. It looks like the chances increase though by 6, 7 o'clock. We're going to start to see some wetter conditions move in. That's the start of that tropical moisture that'll continue to bring us some round of passing showers overnight and through the day for tomorrow. Across the tropics, that system that we were tracking no longer has a chance of tropical development, but the National Hurricane Center now highlighting a new, uh, highlighting a new area near the Cape Bird Islands with a 30% chance of becoming a tropical depression or storm as it works its way across the Atlantic. Now, we do have quite a bit of wind shear to deal with as it kind of works its way westward, so we'll see how that plays a part here. Right now, not a concern for us, but we will be watching it nevertheless. 93 for high today. We lower things into the lower 90s Thursday and Friday. Showers and thunderstorms increasing Saturday and Sunday will keep us some spotty storms the weekend.